Holidays right around the corner. It's that time of year when it can get overwhelming with all the snacks and sweets and food <laughs> everywhere. It is everywhere, but one woman wants to alleviate that stress by showing you just how easy it can be to have healthier options around and affordable mm -hmm. as well. So, Brianna, you, yes. you spoke with this woman. Yes, uh, the founder of the program. So her name is Arielle Kestenbaum, and she started Fair Meals at the start of the pandemic. It's a way to help families who really relied on school systems to help provide meals for their kids. So they came up with this platform that's focused on healthy, easy, and affordable nutrition. And now two years later, this is a resource for everyone for balanced eating. So she shared some of her tips with me on how we can eat a little bit healthier around this time of year. It's super, super easy. We're all about ease here at Fair Meals. Um, we have, you can really use any types of beans that you want, um, but I like to use cannellini beans. So we have some white cannellini beans here. Um, I also like to use kidney beans. I think also like the color, the red, like the deep red color is so festive for this time of year. So it's just a really um, good thing to use uh, and, and to make things a little bit more festive. Um, and then chickpeas. I like chickpeas also because that actually has a ton of protein in there. So we're getting our fiber also from the chickpeas and from the other beans, but chickpeas also do have protein. So we're kind of getting like a full balance here. So I'm gonna mix up those beans together. Um, and we wanna make sure that we're also rinsing our beans off um, from the can because we wanna take off any excess sodium because obviously sodium will, you know, not be so helpful in terms of preventing heart disease. So we want to make sure that we are taking off any excess sodium. A little bit of sodium is fine, um, but rinsing them will definitely take off anything um, that's in there that we don't want. Um, the other thing is I like to add celery. You can add red onion, you can add red onion and celery. Um, you can add some herbs to this. I just like to add a little bit of celery uh, and that's it. Um, my family doesn't love raw red onion, so I try really not to use it. Um, but it's definitely does give it a nice, you know, color and texture and flavor. So that's really it. Those are all the ingredients that go in. And now for our little dressing, um, we have a little bit of apple cider vinegar. You can really use any type of vinegar that you want. Um, I just love the, the taste of apple cider vinegar. I think it gives it a little bit of a deeper flavor. Um, and I just love the smell of it and the taste and everything. It goes really nicely also with the beans. Um, we use a little bit of olive oil to kind of, it, it kind of like balance out the, the vinegar, right? So it's not too, too strong. We have some garlic powder. I wouldn't use too much garlic powder, but definitely some. And salt and some pepper to kind of bring all the flavors together. And that is the whole thing. That is it. Smells so delicious. I'm gonna add a little bit more, more of the apple cider vinegar. And that's really it. Mm. So yeah, you can have seconds. You just have to make the good choice when you have the what seconds. What about thirds and fourths? Yeah. That's I think it's okay. She said, good. listen to the hunger cues. If you're still if you're still hungry, <laughs> you can still eat. You just make a good choice. Uh, also during our chat, she showed me how to make a really cool meal. It checks all of those boxes and it's super versatile. Uh, so if you're interested in learning more about her in the program, Fair Meals is hosting a free online webinar tonight at 7 p.m. You can mm. register at Fair Meals. Org. Um, one other tip that she has is to eat breakfast. And I mean, we do that on yeah. the show when yep. we have the time yeah, to eat. Time. Yep. Yep. Um, she says it can help kickstart your metabolism, which you should still try to practice on the holidays because we all have this mindset yeah. of like, oh, I'm not going to eat because I know I'm going to eat so much later. She says that's actually a bad idea. And if you get your nutrient filled breakfast, it can actually help keep you kind of full on those days. Yeah. So you don't go too crazy. Yeah, sure. so I go with six full meals. Yeah, six full meals. Maybe, you know, maybe not that. Nice and filled yeah. up. Yeah. You know? Maybe a little breakfast so that you don't <laughs> stuff yourself for Thanksgiving.